Welcome to our event, folks, and thanks for joining us. We're delighted that you're interested in learning more about working at Scotland Excel. Today, you'll hear from a wide range of colleagues about what it's like to work for our organisation. The guys you hear from will talk about the positive culture and about their career development, but they will also open your eyes to the ways in which our organisation supports some of the biggest challenges in Scotland today. It really is a job where you can make a difference for Scotland's people and communities. Communities made up of your friends and family, my friends and family, and believe me, folks, that's what motivates us every single day. As a growing organisation, we have current and upcoming vacancies covering a wide range of disciplines, and hopefully today will pique your interest in applying for some of those. But first, let's hear a bit more about Scotland Excel from our Chief Exec, Julie Welsh. Scotland Excel was established in 2008. We're a shared service funded by Scotland's 32 councils and we're the National Centre of Procurement Expertise for Local Government. We have an extensive portfolio of frameworks and these help Scotland's councils to source a wide range of goods and services, covering social care, construction, food, waste and recycling, transport, IT, educational materials and other corporate commodities like PPE. Scotland Excel is recognised as a leader in sustainable procurement. We work really hard to make sure the contracts we put in place not only deliver quality and value for money, but also return social, economic and environmental benefits for our member councils and their communities. And this includes the work we do to increase payment of the real living wage. Our efforts to encourage micro and small businesses to bid to join our frameworks and the community benefits we build into our contracts, like apprenticeships, jobs and work experience. Of course, environmental sustainability is a key focus for us, and we make sure that our work underpins the Scottish Government's drive towards net zero. In every tender we do, we seek to capture how environmentally sustainable a potential supplier's business practices are. Since celebrating our 10th anniversary in 2018, We've seen the value of our portfolio double and it now stands at £2 billion. While we are funded by councils with local authorities being our core members, we also have more than 100 associate members who pay a membership fee to use our services. Our associate members include housing associations, arm's length organisations, leisure trusts and third sector bodies. Interestingly, for every pound that's invested in Scotland Excel by local government, we return around £5. So that money's going back to local government to fund their services. And frameworks are only one part of our remit. Our consultancy services and our academy have gone from strength to strength in recent years. Increasingly, our members are commissioning, commissioning us to work with them on a wide range of business change and efficiency-focused projects. We launched the Scotland Excel Academy in 2016 with a key recognition that professionals in our sector don't just need solid procurement knowledge, they also need to be strong leaders with other business skills. Through the Academy, we have helped hundreds of public sector and third sector employees through accredited programmes and workshops in procurement, leadership and, leadership and management, project management, all done in partnership with professional bodies such as the CMI, SIPs and the SQA. As I mentioned, our portfolio covers several areas, one of which is social care. We are the only organisation in the UK delivering national care contracts and we work very closely with the Scottish Government and local authority commissioners to ensure that national outcomes for care are embedded in our frameworks. Councils and health and social care partnerships spend a significant amount of money on social care, and so we support them in sourcing a wide range of services through our adult and children's social care categories. And we also manage the National Care Home Contract for Older People. Currently, we are supporting our members in their post-COVID recovery efforts, and we know the significant financial challenges they face. Scotland Excel plays an extremely valuable role in making a difference to Scotland's public sector, 
And we look forward to supporting local government with a green recovery that gives economic and social return to our members and their communities. Thank you, Julie. So hopefully Julie has given you a flavour of the many different areas that Scotland XL is involved in. We may originally have been established to deliver collaborative contracts, but we do so much more than this now through our procurement services, through our consultancy work, through learning and development, and development and support of key national policy in areas such as climate and care. We believe there are few organisations that are involved in such a wide areas of public life. There's one thing for sure, uh, you can always be certain there is something new and exciting just around the corner when you work at Scotland Excel. You can help us make a difference. We're going to look at some of the key areas of work in more detail soon, but first, let's hear from some of our wonderful Scotland Excel staff about why they enjoy working here. In the seven years that I've worked at Scotland Excel, I've learned so much. Um, and it's been a, a really kind of exciting time. Um, I have to say that there's a lot of times at Scotland Excel I can finish a day's work and think, you know what? I did pretty well there. Um, and it's fulfilling. Um, and you feel like you're making a difference. And I, I believe that we, Scotland Excel, do make a difference um, in a lot of ways. Um, I think we're a great organisation. Um, and I thoroughly enjoy my job at Scotland Excel. In terms of what I like best about my role, I know that Scotland Excel has a, a positive impact on society in general. From my time working in the, the social care team, I've seen us develop frameworks which help promote positive outcomes um, for children who need it most. And within the construction team, I can see our contracts positively impacting Scotland's net carbon net zero targets. For me, it's about the people and the culture. The people are really positive and always willing to help, and it feels like a real team effort. And as an organisation, it's always about looking at how we can improve and do better, and that's really great to be a part of. Um, it's also a great organisation in terms of supporting your personal growth and goals. So I, uh, I really enjoy always learning, and I think Excel gives you a very good opportunity to, to touch upon lots of different fields and meet lots of experts in those fields. But for me, I can come away each day knowing that, you know, when I'm working on an efficiency program, for example, I might be saving a council significant amounts of money in, in one area that they can then use to invest in things like social care or making sure that they've got the infrastructure for electrical vehicle charging. So it's it's very worthwhile and it's it's a good uh, breadth of experience that you get. I'm able to work together with uh, procurement professionals that have very different backgrounds. Uh, they are experts of the of the of the markets that they have been in, uh, in contact with, and they're I'm able and I'm able to learn from them. At the same time, uh, Scott and Excel uh, also encourages innovation and whenever I'm working on a project uh, um, I feel like I can um, develop the project in a way that meets the current requirements but also looks at the future making sure that uh, there is a long-term plan. Since I've been in Scotland Excel I've found the staff really respectful. Uh, there's genuine team spirit throughout, there's a genuine feeling of goodwill. Um, it makes uh, work and life so much more enjoyable, uh, either logging on or coming into the office and, and uh, uh, day to day. So, we've just heard from a great mix of our staff there who genuinely love what they do at Scotland Excel and who each and every one are making a difference in Scotland. I also thought there was some really good advice in those short clips. And folks, that's just a small selection of my great colleagues at Scotland Excel. Members of staff are ready to speak with you after this presentation. If you haven't already registered for an informal one-to-one -one session, then simply email recruitment at scotland-excel.org.uk and we'll set you up with an online meeting or telephone call. 
Let's now take a more in-depth look at one of our key category areas, food. Laura Muir is here to tell you about our food contracts and how they support everything from local suppliers through to ensuring that our children uh, can access a nutritious hot meal every day. Hi, my name is Laura Muir and I am a category manager for the corporate and education team at Scotland Excel. I joined Scotland Excel in April 2018 as a senior procurement specialist look at, looking after our education frameworks initially and then onto our food portfolio. I was promoted to category manager of the team in July 2021, but the food frameworks are still very much my baby, as you'll probably be able to tell. Over the last 13 years of school, Scotland Excel has led the way in public food procurement, pushing its food por portfolio to deliver value quality produce for councils, whilst also creating wider benefits for Scotland Scotland's economy. Our food contracts, which include milk, meats, frozen food, bread and rolls, fruit and veg and groceries, are now worth £82 billion per year. They help to supply products served in schools, nurseries, care homes and community centres across the country. We work closely with suppliers and local councils to ensure our frameworks meet the requirements of all relevant legislation. Probably most importantly, the nutritional requirements for food and drink in schools, Scotland's regulations 2020 and setting the table, nutritional guidance for, and food standards for early year and childcare providers in Scotland 2018. In food, we are very lucky to have a really vocal user intelligence group, or UIG as we call it, which is made up of procurement staff and category managers from across our councils. They help us to develop our frameworks to ensure that they meet the needs of the end users, and probably most importantly, to ensure our school children are, safe, are served up tasty, nutritious meals each lunchtime. Local produce has become an increasing priority for our councils, so we've stepped up our role to make sure the public's make sure public sector food contracts are more accessible for Scottish business. This also underpins the Scottish Government's drive to make sure the power of public spending is used to boost Scotland's economy. This became even more important during the pandemic, with local supply being vital for our councils to be able to provide food to meet the needs of their most vulnerable residents during lockdown. We were keen to support the government's dairy action plan to include so to include more Scottish produce in our groceries contract for the likes of yogurt, butter, cheese, margarine. Um, we included a secondary price list within the tender to allow Scot suppliers to offer Scottish dairy products. And as a result of this, a range of Scottish dairy products are now available for our councils to buy through the Groceries and Provisions Framework. By switching their cheese to a Scottish produce, local authorities have generated more than £4.2 million of business for the Scottish cheese sector through the previous generation of our Groceries Framework, and that they continue to add to that spend um, with the current framework. To bring more Scottish produce onto our meats framework, while still being in line with the procurement regulations, we were able to specifically ask for Scotch beef and Scotch lamb by including protected geographical indication, or PGI, in our tender. As a result, more than 75% of produce purchased in our meats framework last year was sourced from Scotland. When developing our photos and foods framework, we gave suppliers the opportunity to bid for supply only to create opportunities for smaller companies that didn't have the national delivery logistics in place. And as a result of this, an Aberdeenshire-based fish supplier secured a place in the contract to supply Scottish haddock, which has resulted in a spend of over £3.8 million over the lifetime of our frozen framework for this small family-owned company. This approach has been so successful that we included it in our groceries and provisions framework and in the um, new generation of the frozen food framework also. Across the food portfolio, spending by councils and Scottish products has continued to rise. Over the past years, it's incre past six years, it's increased year on year and it now accounts for more than 37% of all spend through our food frameworks. Not only is this approach good for Scottish business, but it's helping to create a greener Scotland by reducing our food miles. As our food, food portfolio continues to evolve, we will keep engaging with Scottish food producers and manufacturers, whilst continuing to, to support the delivery of healthy and nutritious school meals through our frameworks. We also continue to work with a number of key stakeholders across Scotland, including the Soil Association, Scotland Food and Drink, Quality Meats Scotland, APSE and Assist FM. As well as looking 
at sourcing local or Scottish products where possible. Scotland Excel have also been working with suppliers to bring as many small or medium enterprises or SMEs onto our frameworks where we can. We split our frameworks into different local authority areas whereby a supplier could bid for one, any or all 32 local authorities without being penalised. In some cases, we also split a local authority into further regional lots if we know that there's local suppliers that may be able to just bid for a certain part of an authority and not the, the full authority area. This has resulted in our current generation of milk having 56 geographical lots. The Scottish Government has committed to the introduction of universal free school meals for primary school children as of 2022, and it's renewed its commitment to the Good Food Nation Bill, setting the nation in a course towards a reality of universal access to high quality, nutritious and sustainably forced good food sourced good food, which is better for Scotland's people, animals and the planet. School meals are more than food on a plate. Primarily, they provide access to a daily, healthy and nutritious meal to Scotland's children and young people, supporting their well-being, well-being and fueling their learning. They play an integral part in food education and culture, fostering healthy and sustainable food behaviours and the positive relationship with food and its wider social, economic and environmental significance. School food procurement is a powerful tool to shape sustainable supply chains for the benefit of local business and communities as well as the environment. The introduction of universal free school, school meals represents a key step in Scotland's journey of becoming a good food nation. Universal provision of healthy, nutritious and sustainable meals for all primary school children is a critical step in realising the right to food in Scotland and it ensures public food reflects public values. Universal free school meals present a tremendous opportunity for delivering multiple policy objectives to benefit public health, child poverty reduction, community wealth building, environmental sustainability and climate change mitigation. So hopefully that gives you a wee snippet of life at Scotland XL. Um, thank you very much for li listening um, and hopefully it's got you thinking about all the work that goes in, in the background um, behind the, the school meals that are served to our children up and down the country. Thanks for listening. Thank you, Laura. Folks, I think you'll all agree that Laura's passion for what she does really shines through when she speaks. And that's something that you will sense when you speak to other colleagues at Scotland Excel too. One area that Laura touched on was the benefit that using local food producers brings for the planet by reducing food miles. With COP26 taking place in Glasgow last year, there has never been more interest in climate change and we're proud of the work we've been doing for many, many years to support the work in tackling our environmental challenges. Reducing Scotland's carbon footprint is also at the heart of everything in our construction, transport and environment category team. We're now going to hear from Strategic Programme Manager Mary Mitchell to tell you more about the work of her team. Hi, I'm Mary Mitchell. I'm a Strategic Programme Manager at Scotland Excel. I joined Scotland Excel in June um, during lockdown, so learning a new, new role with new colleagues in this remote working environment. That's been interesting, challenging and a lot of fun. I've uh, benefited from those arrangements because I live a bit further out than, than many of our, my colleagues but that hasn't uh, been a barrier to joining Scotland Excel and I've been grateful to have that opportunity. Today I wanted to, to talk to you about some of the um, contracting areas that I'm managing as part of my role. Those relate strongly to um, the situation we have in Scotland around climate emergency. Many of you will know that the Scottish Parliament um, declared a, a climate emergency in Scotland in April 2019, one of the very first countries to do so. And with that in mind, much of uh, what we are doing in the Scottish public sector at the moment is about bringing our focus to how we will achieve um, a net zero society and, and many of the public um, services that we use being done in a way that minimises their impact on the environment. As part of that climate declaration, the First Minister of Scotland said our obligation to the next generation are the most important that we carry. And joining the next generation of procurement people that help Scottish local authorities deliver those responsibilities 
is, is open to you by joining Scotland Excel. The team we have here develop frameworks for public bodies to source goods and services and the works packages that they need to ensure that Scotland's infrastructure delivers for everyone who lives here. Some of our newest frameworks play an important role in underpinning the journey to net zero. These have been put in place to do things such as retrofitting social housing to make it more energy efficient. Included in, in some of those arrangements are also other public buildings. Those need now to be more energy efficient than they've ever been before and to have a lower impact on our environment. We also source um, vehicles for the public sector and there's opportunities in amongst um, that activity to source alternatively fuelled vehicles, including heavy and municipal vehicles that are used for things like processing waste and cleaning streets and, and many of those services that would be familiar to you. We also have um, arrangements for those professional services that help public bodies adapt the public estate. So things that we would refer to as, as placemaking, which focus on active travel, cycling and walking, for example, um, building community localities, putting all the street lighting, the um, street furniture, so things like benches and, and bins in place for um, everyone who lives in an area to use, making a place a pleasant place to live, place making we would call it. But then amongst that too are things like public Wi-Fi and uh, some of the technologies that link to that Wi-Fi are, are areas of development for us now too. As part of um, the approach to many of these um, infrastructure development works, we are strengthening our construction teams to focus on repairs, maintenance of public buildings, these are areas that we haven't yet um, developed, so they, these are growth areas for us and areas that, that we're looking for people to join us in, in helping us develop more innovative technologies and ways in which we can lower the embodied carbon of our public buildings, our public estate. Meanwhile, we're, um, I suppose, keeping the show on the road is probably my, uh, my cheesy way of putting that, in that we also have... Um, very much a roads focused um, part to our portfolio, tyres, vehicles, vehicle parts, hire of vehicles, the plant that, that goes into repairing roads um, are all things that we help public bodies to source. We even um, put in place frameworks for the salt that we put on the roads in the winter. So all of those things contribute to keeping, keeping us all moving. We work with the supply base, the buy-in organisations and other national bodies who are developing policy to get this right, to shape this differently every time we go to the market. And we would be excited to have you join us on that journey. Public services are facing one of the most challenging times in living memory. Part of our, um, our mission in Scotland Excel is that we are a small group of people, but there's a quote from Margaret Mead who said, that we should never doubt that a small group of thoughtful, committed citizens can change the, change the world. Indeed, it's the only thing that ever has. Margaret Mead was somebody who postulated that children learn by watching from adult behaviour. And her theories are very thought provoking when we link back to the First Minister's statement about our responsibilities to the next generation. If you enjoy working in a multifaceted team, with vast scope and huge opportunity to make a difference to the communities of Scotland, you should come and talk to us. Scotland Excel has a significant role to play in the future of public services in Scotland. Thank you, Mary. I thought the Margaret Mead quote really helped to illustrate how our work makes a difference to Scotland. I think Scotland Excel is a small group of thoughtful and committed people and we will change the world, starting in Scotland. You also heard that Mary lives in Perth and has been able to take up her role through remote working. In a new working world, geography is no longer a barrier, folks. Mary is one of a number of staff who have joined us recently from locations throughout Scotland, so we're keen to hear from you wherever you are. Before we look at some of our areas of work, Let's hear from staff on their experiences of career development at Scotland Excel.
at that point in my life, I had a family member who went into care. And at that same time, a position became available in the adult social care team for assistant procurement specialist. It was only a temporary role. Um, and it was just at the same time I became permanent as a business services assistant. So I wasn't too sure what I wanted to do at that time. However, a lot of support from my manager and um, from the head of strategic procurement. Um, they kind of gave me the push that I needed to go for and apply for a procurement role. So I have no confidence in myself and to know that they were confident in me was enough. And um, resulted in me being permanent in the temporary post. And following that, I think it was about six months later, I eventually got the permanent role as assistant procurement specialist in the adult social care team. As you can hear, I'm not from Scotland. Having just moved here three and a half years ago, I began working at Scotland Excel shortly after that move. Even though I've had many years of private sector purchasing background in the USA, I had never performed public sector procurement. Starting my career at Scotland Excel on the construction team and having the good fortune to be placed with a strong category manager who helped me transition from private to public sector in short order. I was given the opportunity to establish the new flexible procurement department, which we fast discovered as a service greatly needed and the team grew to three members rapidly, creating an opportunity for advancement into the management role for the team which I currently hold. I also find working with Scotland Excel has been great for developing um, additional skills. Since working for Scotland Excel, I've been sent on um, training courses, well, sent on working from home uh, video uh, training courses through Teams, which has been great. I've been on courses such as um, the introduction to procurement through to report writing to communication, which, uh, again, develops your skills and being given the opportunity within 14 months to attend as many many uh, training courses that I have I think has been great. Also in my development I'm setting my SIPS qualification uh, level four which is the Chartered Institute of Supply and Procurement and I've recently sat my first exam and passed which has been great and it, working for Scotland Excel no two days are the same it's very exciting fast paced but again you're also given the support from your team and if you have any concerns you can either raise it to your manager your buddy and it can be done in various ways which has been great. When I first started in Scotland Excel I worked within the business side of the organisation and began as a business relationship analysis and then after about a year I moved on to become a business service assistant where I stayed for about eight years. I then decided I wanted to try a role in procurement and was successful in gaining an assistant procurement specialist role and more recently I've been promoted to a procurement coordinator. One of the best things about working for Scotland Excel is the support you receive from not just the team you work in but the organisation as a whole. When I decided to move into procurement role, Scotland Excel supported me and have developed me and given me all the training necessary to help me become the coordinator that I am today. I thoroughly enjoy my role within the food portfolio and like how the decisions we can make can help shape the decisions of the councils using our frameworks. I think the word you heard most there was support and it's true, you'll get support to change roles or advance your career at Scotland Excel, but you'll also get support from your colleagues right across the organisation. We have really strong values at Scotland Excel and this is just one way that we, that we demonstrate them. We all respect each other's contributions to our success, whether you work in procurement or one of the other roles in the organisation. If you'd like to know more about working at Scotland Excel, all you need to do is email recruitment at scotland-excel.org.uk and one of my colleagues will be in touch to set up a meeting after this presentation or at a later time to suit. So let's now hear from some colleagues about how we work, how their work brings benefits directly into Scotland's communities. First up, Commercial Manager Sharon Christie will tell you about the work we do with councils to ensure that the, the money they spend brings business growth, brings valuable jobs and other benefits into their local areas. Hello. Thank you for the opportunity of speaking with you today. By way of introduction, my name is Sharon Christie and I'm the Commercial Manager at Scotland Excel. 
I've held a number of roles within Scotland Excel since it formed in 2008. And in my current role, I have specific responsibility for supporting and developing Scotland Excel's relationships with our membership organisations, such as local authorities, housing associations, and a range of other public sector and third sector bodies across Scotland. We also work with the Scottish Government on a range of national policies and initiatives, such as the one I'll be covering today on community wealth building. So what is community wealth building? Why is it important? And what are the benefits and the types of things that Scotland Excel has been working on? I'll come on to look at these in the presentation, but it should be recognised that in time available, I will only focus in a brief way at some of these elements Scotland Excel is currently addressing. Let me start by acknowledging that community wealth building is a key goal of the wider Scottish public sector and is typically regarded as a more people-centred approach to economic development, with the aim of supporting local communities and businesses across the country. Community wealth building has five key principles. I'm going to focus on one, progressive procurement. As this is where Scotland Excel is focusing on helping to support the delivery of local economic value from the procurement spend made by local authorities and other bodies such as NHS, further and higher education institutions and other public sector organisations. Local procurement is a key mechanism to help enable community wealth and by supporting all 32 local authority members in this area, this also enables Scotland Excel to take on a leadership role at a national level. What is the level of spend that's being influenced? In 2019 to 2020, the total Scottish public sector procurement spend reached £13.3 billion. Over half of Scottish public sector spend is on Scottish companies, resulting in over £7 billion per year going into the Scottish economy. In the same year, 70% of Scottish local authorities, that's all 32 councils, spend was with companies in Scotland resulting in £5 billion per year going into the Scottish economy. When working with a local authority on community wealth building, Scotland Excel begins with analysis and understanding of spend undertaken and supplier data specific to the local authority area, and we present and discuss this analysis at workshops involving key stakeholders from across the local authority. These stakeholders can include local authority officers, including service delivery specialists, economic development professionals, employability officers and representatives from the local authority procurement team. Workshops help to develop a shared understanding of local procurement and identify opportunities to use council spend to boost economic well-being in their area. It also highlights current good practice within the procurement sector and identifies potential future opportunities, challenges and possible constraints on local procurement activity. Scotland Excel also hold dedicated workshops for local authority councillors that's elected members, to address many of the same themes and examine ways in which local councillors can support their local authorities' community wealth building plans and, where necessary, address areas of concern or misinformation. In Scotland, inherent with the National Scottish model of procurement is the aim to ensure that public procurement, whatever it is delivered across the country, is business friendly and socially responsible. Scotland Excel plays an important role in ensuring that we communicate key elements of the model to support and encompass community wealth building and all our activities within our membership organisations. The workshops I mentioned earlier also allow Scotland Excel to demonstrate how procurement works and appropriate legislation and environment it operates in and how local authorities can collaborate with suppliers of all sizes to deliver national aims. Our local authority specific data is utilised to illustrate local spending behaviours and contextualise this within the wider Scottish public sector landscape to help highlight opportunities to encourage and increase local procurement activity within local areas wherever possible. And what are some of the other benefits of community wealth building? Well, greater engagement with key stakeholders. This allows us to better understand the marketplace and any challenges for our members and others. 
exploring and connecting the relationships between community wealth building and other key policy areas, such as climate change and fair work practices. Identifying and considering opportunities for all suppliers, including micro businesses, small businesses, supported business and other third sector organisations. So what information does Scotland Excel gather to identify benefits? Well, the data is drawn from key systems and applications, including Public Contract Scotland, or PCS as we call it. And this is the national advertising website for all public sector procurement opportunities in Scotland, and we are always encouraging businesses to register and use this. In quick quotes, this provides an online quotation tool within Public Contract Scotland website. And this supports public sector bodies to request and receive online quotes for lower value contracts from suppliers who are registered on PCS. And Grow Local, this application identifies the areas where local spend could be increased and includes a directory of the suppliers in local areas. Scottish Procurement Information Hub provides detailed spend analysis from the Scottish public sector. Management information drawn from suppliers and providers using Scotland Excel's own frameworks. For example, this identifies that at the end of 2021, there were 1,042 suppliers on Scotland Excel's 72 frameworks, 72% of which were classified as small or medium-sized enterprises or SMEs. Of the 1,042 suppliers, 646 were based in Scotland, 81% of which were classified as SMEs. So what about working with their suppliers and other national priorities such as fair work practices? Scotland Excel encourages suppliers to seek living wage accreditation and explores opportunities to increase payment of the real living wage among our suppliers that pay some employees be below this level. 86% of Scotland Excel suppliers have notified us that they pay the real living wage. And what about considerations and challenges for Scotland Excel and our members? Well, local procurement could be described as a procurement dilemma. And there's pressure for local government to spend more in their own regions. And there's pressure for many stakeholders to increase local spend. When it comes to local authority procuring, the local authorities should decide what their priority is, whether it's value for money, compliance, environmental, quality, buying locally. Also, the local authority may need to agree what is local and be clear on what they're trying to achieve. The community wealth building activity and discussions I've described earlier can support a local authority's decision making process and help them better make informed decisions. Another area we're working on within community wealth building is external partner engagement and we're actively engaging with organisations such as the Federation of Small Businesses, Supplier Development Programme, Scottish Enterprise, South of Scotland Enterprise and Highlands Enterprise and the Chambers of Commerce to encourage suppliers, including small suppliers, to work with the local authorities and Scotland Excel more collaboratively. Scotland Excel is also working in partnership with Scottish Government and four local authorities on a community wealth building programme. We've been discussing and anal analysing the data by using the systems and processes I mentioned earlier. As part of this work, Scotland Excel is hosting a practice sharing workshop in February with the four local authorities and the Scottish Government to share our learnings and with the intention of sharing these learnings more widely across the Scottish public sector. And Scotland Excel We'll also create a handbook, a repeatable tool that can be used to support an organisation when they start to work on their own community wealth building project. And as I mentioned, within the time available, I've only been able to touch very briefly on some aspects of this important area of work being undertaken by Scotland Excel. But I would be happy to take any questions on this later or at a later date. So why come and work for Scotland Excel? In the remaining time, I'd like to say a little bit about Scotland Excel and why I think it offers a fantastic opportunity for anyone thinking of a career with us. There are so many reasons, but for me, I've been lucky enough over my career to enjoy and be challenged by the variety of work I've been involved in, from the current opportunity work on community wealth building to supporting our membership organisations transform their procurement function to meet the challenges of today and tomorrow. 
to represent in Scotland Excel at a range of events over the years, including those with a strategic procurement focus to those dedicated to suppliers, helping to support and develop contract activity at a local and national level. On a personal level, I take a great deal of achievement through the work I've been involved in to help shape and deliver real value through better public sector contracts, bringing genuine reward to local communities and businesses and fair work practices, which all help to make Scotland a world leader in public procurement and a great place to work. I also take a great deal of satisfaction from my team's focus on customer relations, which helps bring people together to better collaborate on procurement related activity, to share best practice and deliver new ways of working. Being part of these activities make working at Scotland Excel really interesting and worthwhile with many opportunities for career progression. Thank you. Thank you, Sharon. It's clear from Sharon's presentation that understanding and collaboration with stakeholders is key to the success of Scotland Excel. Sean also highlighted our work on community wealth building, a topic that demonstrates real tangible impact for the people, the businesses and other organisations in our communities. The importance of speaking directly with people in our communities is now echoed by Barry Phillips, who will speak about the community benefits we incorporate into all our contracts to bring genuine rewards for local areas. Hello, my name is Barry Phillips. I'm a category analyst with Scotland Excel's refurbishment and maintenance team, and I've worked with Scotland Excel for seven years. Community benefits. What are community? Community benefits are how we as procurement people at Scotland Excel can make a positive impact on people's lives. I see community benefits as being part of, in a broader term, I guess, of sustainable procurement. Um, sustainable procurement is how we can make a difference socially, economically and environmentally. And sustainable procurement is a huge part of what Scotland Excel does. And it has a real impact. And I've seen the impact of it with my own eyes. And it can be very fulfilling and very inspiring indeed. Uh, one example of the positive impact that I've seen, um, one of our major suppliers on a framework that I manage, that I developed and helped develop and manage, um, was that they run a training program for kids from schools who've had you know difficult backgrounds um, or are perhaps less able-bodied than, than other people and you know perhaps don't have the same opportunities and chances in terms of employment etc that other people might do um, and this supplier runs apprenticeship programs where it takes kids who again might not have the same opportunities that everyone else does and puts them through apprenticeship programs uh, in a variety of different skills um, both kind of like trades based stuff, also in offices and uh, that kind of environment. Um, and I've been there in their office when they did like their their uh, uh, closing ceremony kind of thing, when the kids had, um, you know, they'd been through their apprenticeships and they'd attained their qualification um, and they'd attained full time jobs at this company. Um, and it was absolutely heartwarming to see how thrilled and happy those people were um, that, you know, they were, they themselves were making a hugely influential. Um, and positive impact. Um, and I remember speaking to the managing director of the company um, and him saying that, you know, we couldn't have done this without you. Um, and likewise, Scotland Excel, Excel, we couldn't have done it without them. Like we have mutually beneficial relationships with our supply base um, and them working on our frameworks means that they can deliver community benefits programs. So by, by that, when we're all kind of making a positive impact, we go out and we talk to people and we listen to people and we create and develop things thereafter using the knowledge that we gain from listening to people. Um, and that is very straightforward and perhaps obvious, but that's exactly what has to be done. Um, I've done it myself a lot um, for like sustainable procurement, a big part of the job that I do. Um, and something I find like very rewarding as part of my job. Um, you can really see some positive change happening as a result of it. It's very kind of fulfilling. Um, but, you know, I spend a lot of time speaking to people. I'm, I've went out and I've met and I've spoken with and presented to things like the third sector, supported businesses, um, charities, social enterprises, environmental groups, all that kind of thing. Um, and they are always, you know, they're always, they want to take part in things, but sometimes they don't have the opportunity or the means or the know-how to do so. 
And the Scotland XL does. Like Scotland XL is good at sustainable procurement. And we go out to them and say, look, this is what we do. This is the kind of thing we're looking to accomplish. And we want you to come on the ride with us and so that we can all make a positive impact together. Um, so yeah, like developing and maintaining relationships is absolutely crucial to procurement. Sustainable procurement and procurement in general, that's a huge part of what we do. Um, and it's also, yeah, again, it's rewarding. Um, I like going out and chatting. I could blether for Scotland um, and it's nice to be able to to blether about such matters with people out there. Um, and I really enjoy that part and I work. It's really positive. Thanks, Barry. Folks, both of our speakers clearly demonstrated the breadth of engagement we undertake at Scotland XL. We believe that procurement starts and ends with people, our staff, colleagues and member organisations, our suppliers, and most importantly, those who use public services. With this in mind, we will now take a look at Scotland XL's work to support the delivery of care services for children, young people, adults, and older, older citizens. Hi, my name is Jennifer McKerrell and I'm one of the Strategic Programme Managers for Scotland Excel. My role is to oversee our work in social care and some of the key areas that we work in are services for adults and for older people. Scotland Excel commissions national uh, services on behalf of local authorities, including those which are critical in helping people remain independent and live within their own homes. That includes contracts for the provision of um, supported living and for care at home services, where people might receive uh, uh, support from a care worker in their own house. We also uh, cover contracts for the provision of a meal service, so that can be a hot meal being delivered to someone at home. And uh, we cover technology enabled care, which can be things like monitors and alarms, which uh, can help keep people safe uh, in their own houses. Where people are not able to live independently and they need a higher level of support, we also commission on behalf of local authorities some residential care services. So that includes the National Care Home Contract, which is uh, care homes for older people. And we have a national arrangement for care homes for adults who have learning disabilities and need that level of support. These services are um, provided on occasion by local authorities directly and on other occasions they are purchased from the, the independent and voluntary sector and it's that commissioning of, of services from external providers that Scotland Excel undertakes on behalf of local authorities. In terms of partners that we work with to ensure that uh, the contracts are suitable and that they cover everything that is required and we work with a with a really wide range of stakeholders across the adult social care sector so we work with um, providers themselves who provide the services we work with the provider representative bodies we work with unions who represent the interests of the the workforce we work with our policy colleagues in both COSLA and in Scottish Government and we aim to take on board the views of people who, who live in the services and their families through um, representative groups who can put their, their views across. Part of what I think is most satisfying about the work in adult social care is um, knowing that you're working in an area which um, kind of touches us all. Most people will have some sort of direct experience of a loved one requiring the types of services that we commission. So we'll have a, a fairly good understanding of just how important it is for service provision to be really good to help people live their, their best lives. So there's something about working in an area that's quite relatable and understanding just how important it is to folk that, that makes it quite satisfying. Even when we play just a small role in that, um, we're, you know, we're one part of a much bigger, a bigger piece of work and not divide, providing it directly ourselves. But being part of that, that work, I think, is, um, is satisfying. Social care is about a personalised support, and there are a number of different services that are signed up to different contracts to meet different needs. For the most part, the companies that are parts of contracts providing support specialise in specific areas. The Care and Support contract, for example, has a variety of companies usually called providers who will specialise in socialisation support for people with a learning disability or for people experiencing mental health difficulties, for example. 
And these supports, as well as being very different in themselves, are different still from supporting frail older people in the community. Or in terms of my area of responsibility, older people who can no longer live safely at home and who require a specialised support provided by living in a care home. The values of Scotland Excel are professional, respectful, courageous and integrity and it is by these values the organisation operates. There is a can-do spirit across the whole organisation and there is a good work-life balance, flexibility and a supportive team that helps one another. It is challenging work but at the same time it's really rewarding. There is no doubt you will be challenged as an employee of Scotland Excel, but you will also be supported and valued as a team member and encouraged to achieve your own personal development. My role is to oversee our work in social care, uh, of which we have three social care teams. And um, one is the uh, dedicated to the provision of children's services. The Children's Services team commissions specialist children's services for children and young people who require to be accommodated away from home. That includes fostering placements, children's residential placements in care homes, day education placements, and also uh, f secure care placements for children and young people who require the security and safety of a secure setting. These services are provided by local authorities directly in some instances, but they are also commissioned from the private sector and from the voluntary sector. And it's that commissioning role that Scotland Excel undertakes on behalf of local authorities. The services that we cover can be for children right from birth, right up to potentially the age of 21. So it's a wide range of requirements that, that are included. And for that reason, the, the frameworks are set up in a way that's very flexible. So the arrangements that we put in place essentially set out a sort of standard um, service in each kind of category area in exchange for a fee, which the authority pays. The um, individual social worker who's working with a young person or the individual commissioner locally can look at the requirements and needs of individual young people and children and can vary that service accordingly so they can tailor it to suit their needs. They can add additional services and they can change that throughout the lifetime of the placement as, as needs might change. Part of what gives me the most satisfaction in this work is knowing that you're one small part of a much bigger and much more important piece of work. So although Scotland United Sale doesn't deliver services for young people, what we do is commission the services nationally on behalf of all the local authorities in Scotland. And that means that um, we are dealing with some of the financial elements, the contractual elements. We've negotiated a fair amount up front so that everybody's got that piece of work out of the way. And what it does is it lets individual local authority staff members focus on the bit that really matters, which is working with children and young people directly. They don't have to spend their time doing that part of the role. And, and the same goes for the providers who are delivering services direct for young people. There are 32 local authorities in Scotland, so if they had to do this exercise 32 times, there's a fair amount of duplication that we can, we can avoid. And again, that lets providers focus on the bit of the work that really matters, which is looking after children and young people. I remember developing a contract recently where I felt that the contract itself was perfect. It had in every way the industry standards, the, the principles of service delivery that you could possibly want. And then when I actually went and spoke to the children who were going to be in receipt of these services and asked them what they wanted from that service, I was told that they wanted someone who would offer them love and cuddles. That was a profound moment for me and has fundamentally changed my career orientation as a commissioner. Um, and if I'm perfectly honest, I realised I had totally missed the point. I had every conceivable professional standard achieved and had forgotten about the human being actually delivering the care at the end of the day to the child. So I was then presented by that child with a challenge of how do we do this contractually? But I took that challenge on the chin and we ended up directly quoting the children, not just that one, but a number of others in the contract in order to really communicate clearly to the providers of care that the children were the most important people in relation to the contract and in relation to the service delivery that we were seeking to achieve.
In terms of my role, um, I like that no two days are ever the same. So I work with a, a small team um, of individuals, but we have um, quite a, a large remit. So we work, obviously, the kind of general day to day framework um, and contract tasks, whether that's answering queries from providers or councils um, or wider stakeholders, um, as well as more kind of contract management activities. Um, we also um, work across different policy areas, so whether they're kind of new or developing policies, taking these into consideration and account and being able to, um, you know, deliver or, you know, work with partners to understand how they'll um, affect our contracts, which is really interesting. Um, and I find that, you know, that's the, the, one of the best bits of my job is the number of different um, people that I get to interact with and learn from. Um, and that's definitely um, been a highlight for me. Thanks everyone. Care is one of the most complex, emotive and important areas that Scotland Excel works in, but also one of the most satisfying given the opportunity it provides to support some of Scotland's most vulnerable people. The guys you heard from are deeply passionate about it, care about what they do and we are so proud of their work. So we're coming towards the end of our presentation and before we hear a bit about the benefits of working at Scotland Excel from Customer Services Manager Lauren Campbell, let's hear what our staff have to say about their experiences of joining Scotland Excel. And don't forget that you can speak to one of our team live from 6pm this evening. If you have not all registered, already registered, email us at recruitment at scotland-excel.org.uk and we'll set you up with a meeting. You can also uh, do this at a later point simply by emailing the, the email address provided. I've actually only worked uh, for Scotland Excel remotely, um, which sounds weird to say because it, it doesn't feel weird anymore. Um, friends and family are always or were always asking me what's it like and um, you just get used to it. Um, I think that's been helped massively by the fact that, you know, the nature of the job you're on video calls a lot to colleagues and suppliers and councillors. So, um, you know, you still feel very much part of a, a nice environment. Um, I've been lucky, I've worked in a great team so far. I've been able to meet them socially as well, which is great uh, for a bit of bonding. And I'm also kind of looking forward to moving into a kind of hybrid uh, working model, hopefully into the spring. Um, I've definitely felt supported um, while working remotely. Uh, you know, it's never, it's not always easy. You know, you get technical issues or, you know, you're just st stuck looking at the same four walls. But in terms of support, I've always felt it's there. Um, I was really impressed uh, when I first started and I found out they had mental health first aiders in place within the organisation. I thought that was really, really impressive um, and obviously taking that kind of side of it seriously. So I actually started my job working from home and although that's been strange, um, everyone's been really supportive. Um, like getting my laptop dropped off and someone talked me through how to set, how to set that up. Um, and then I was able to meet my team who've all been really friendly and supportive. Um, and I also had a couple of inductions, which um, ensured that I was comfortable using all the different softwares that we use. Um, so that's been really helpful. Um, I've also been on a lot of training courses, which has helped uh, go over different aspects of the job. And if I have any questions, I'm able to ask them. And my team have also been really helpful with that. Um, if I've been given a task and I don't quite understand or I need them to go over something. They've all been really helpful with that. I joined Scotland Excel following a recruitment event just like this one today back in 2018. Uh, again, it was very interesting to hear what the employees at the time uh, thought about their jobs and what Scotland Excel actually did. So I went along, I uh, was looking for a change in what I was actually doing myself and that information that was provided by the team then really stoked up my interest uh, and applied and got the job. My background is in private procurement so I've often wondered what public procurement might be like and when I heard about the type of work Scotland Excel was doing you know on behalf of the 
you know, the councils in Scotland, etc., and all the public sector bodies. It was something that I thought might be quite interesting to be involved in. So, folks, let's hear now from Lorne about the opportunities for working with Scotland Excel and the generous employment benefits, all beyond the job satisfaction that our staff so obviously feel and have so clearly expressed. Hi, uh, my name is Lorne Campbell. I'm the Customer Service Manager with Scotland Excel. I've been working with Scotland Excel for the past three years. Um, I have to say that I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy my job. I have an excellent team of people uh, around me. Every day is interesting and different. And uh, you know, I would, without hesitation, recommend a career to you within Scotland Excel. A career at Scotland Excel can be really whatever you you, you make it, whether um, you're a school leaver, dipping your toe into the, to the working environment for the first time, or a recent graduate looking to build a career, or or an experienced professional looking for a for a new challenge. There are opportunities for you here um, at Scotland Excel. So Scotland Excel is a <clears throat> centre of procurement expertise for local government sector, delivering around 80 frameworks um, for our local authority partners and uh, associate members, totalling over £2 billion in total spend. The frameworks are diverse, impacting um, social care, the environment, community welfare, uh, as well as local government essentials such as um, provisions for school meals, furniture and fittings, uh, and janitorial supplies, including these days PPE. The device nature, diverse nature of our frameworks means that um, we are not only looking for procurement professionals or even people with procurement experience. We're looking for the right people at all levels of the organisation with the necessary skills, experience and work ethic that will help Scotland Excel develop and uh, improve services going forward. So I mentioned that Scotland Excel is a, a centre of procurement expertise, but it's much more than that. Um, we also deliver a, a wide range of short um, and medium term projects for our customers, ranging from full scale transformation projects to individual procurement tasks delivered either by our um, in-house flexible procurement team or via placement of one of our, our team within a host organisation for a fixed period of time. The opportunity to work on these projects is open to all members of our permanent team on a secondment basis, giving a great no risk opportunity to try something different while retaining your permanent post with Scotland Excel. The opportunity to work on a Scotland Excel project is just one really of the benefits of working with Scotland Excel. All employees of Scotland Excel are local government employees and therefore have the same basic terms and conditions as all local government employees, which include a competitive salary, a generous pension scheme, with, which currently has a 19.3% employer's contribution to your pension. We have a generous annual leave entitlement, plus the opportunity to buy additional annual leave should you wish to. You'll also be entitled to 12 public holidays per year, and within Scotland Excel, seven of these days are fixed, and these are Christmas, New Year, Easter, and the May Day holiday with the other days floating, meaning that you can take them whenever you wish. Scotland Excel also offers its employees the option of hybrid working, allowing you to, to work from home for three days per week with other two days in the office. This is an additional, in addition to a flexible working policy, which is open to all employees and is aimed at providing as much flexibility for parents and carers as possible within our team. Employee development is a key theme within Scotland Excel <clears throat> and we actively support our team in developing themselves while they are employees of Scotland Excel. Our comprehensive learning and development opportunities, which are available to all staff, are delivered in partnership with our academy, which is another arm of Scotland Excel, which delivers a range of training across the public sector. In addition to the more tangible benefits of working with Scotland Excel, we also have a strong employee forum, which leads on the promotion of healthy working lives across the organisation, which delivers on the organisation's commitment to supporting mental health in the workplace, as well as coordinating our volunteering activities um, across the organisation. The values of Scotland Excel are professional, respectful, courageous and integrity, and it is by these values that the organisation operates. There is no doubt that you will be challenged as a, an employee of Scotland Excel, but you'll also be supported by an experienced professional um, team around you and encouraged at all times to be the best that you can be. So 
if you're interested in finding out more about accessing a career with Scotland Excel, or indeed, if you just want to find out more about the organisation, your first stop should definitely be our website. The website will uh, introduce you to our growing range of services and will hopefully further pique your interest to inquire about a possible new job within Scotland Excel, or indeed about developing your continuing or developing or continuing a career with us. If you'd like to find out more about working with Scotland Excel, please click on the Contact Us link at the bottom of any of the pages on our website and select I'm interested in working at Scotland Excel, um, that option under the Tell Us Why You're Getting In Touch banner. We will get back to you as quickly as possible and set up a meeting um, with one of our managers who will be able to answer any questions you have I will also be able to advise you uh, on which posts within Scotland Excel will be most relevant to you. Thank you for your time. Folks, as you've heard this evening, we look at the person more than the qualification. So remember, there may be opportunities for you here, even if you don't have formal procurement qualification or experience. We'll leave the last word to our staff and their advice for anyone thinking of working with us at Scotland Excel. Thank you for joining us and don't forget to get in touch if you'd like to speak to someone about opportunities for working here with us. Come help us change the world, make a real demonstrable difference and have some fun with some great colleagues too. Contact recruitment at scotland-excel.org.uk if you'd like to speak to someone this evening or you can get in touch anytime through our website at www.scotland-excel.org.uk. Thank you. Look forward to hearing from you. For someone considering joining Scotland Excel, the advice that I would give is look at what we do on our website, look at the, um, the work that we deliver in the range of things and see if that's of interest. Have a read of our values and our mission version, and see if that aligns with yours. Because if it does, that's a you know that's that's where we need to start from. And if the answer to all of that is yes, that interests me, and I think that fits in with what I'm interested in, then I definitely think it's worth um, having an informal chat with somebody. I know that we're looking at lots of different roles and areas, so uh, finding the right person and having a bit of a chat is probably a good next step. But. Um, Certainly, I would I would recommend applying. I wouldn't have stayed here as long as I have if I didn't think that it was a good place to work. If I could give anyone any advice in considering a career at Scotland Excel, it would be that this organisation has a focus on its staff. It supports the staff to secure the contracts that benefit many areas of the public sector, not just social care. So there's likely to be an area of interest for just about anyone and you've got a good record of promoting from within the organisation. So even if you are looking for a job to gain some experience in the world of procurement, there'll be opportunities to progress and grow, regardless of whether you stay with Scotland Excel or take your knowledge and experience to other parts of the procurement world. Advice for anyone um, thinking about um, applying for a role, don't be put off if you don't have um, sort of technical procurement experience. A lot of the role is, um, you know, you have transferable skills that you can bring to any role. So things like communication, stakeholder management, data analysis, um, all of those are really key in different uh, roles that you do. So don't be put off um, if you don't have the sort of actual procurement experience. I'm sure that you'll be able to find a role that um, matches in with the different skills and experience that you can bring. To anyone who's thinking about a career at Scotland Excel, I would say there are huge opportunities to be had here. Um, I've seen people kind of come in at things like assistant procurement specialist level as a graduate trainee, and those people are now like category managers and beyond. Um, Scotland Excel develops talent really well. Um, they often um, recruit from within, um, and I think they've, they've made some absolute stars out of people, and a lot of people have really good careers with Scotland Excel. And I consider myself to be one of them. Like I say, I've learned so much in my time here um, and, you know, I enjoy my work. And there's very rarely a day when I wake up and thinking, oh, I don't want to go to work today. Um, so that's a, that's a really positive thing. That doesn't always happen. I've been in jobs where I didn't want to go to work that day. Um, I'm pleased to say Scotland Excel is not one of those places. So, yeah, it's a great place to work.
If you want to be a part of the team that is influencing and maximizing value to the community through procurement, then I think that Scotland Excel is a place for you and you should apply.